Well, hello and welcome to Sigi Air. Today, um, we're going to have a short video on a particular add-on that I find very useful in my flight planning and how and when I entering data into the FMS. So let's get into it. Uh, we're going to be doing a flight from Malaga to Ibiza, and we're just going to use this particular add-on. It's simple and it's very useful just the way I like them. Okay, so the name of this particular add-on is SimBrief Panel. So uh, if you go to a flightsim.to and then you just go through community and do a search for SimBrief Panel, you get to this particular add-on and you can just download it. It's free uh, and it's very useful. What you do is once you download it, you unzip it and, and move that folder that it's unzipped to your community uh, folder. And then the next time you um, load Microsoft Flight Simulator, it's gonna show up on your on your um, toolbar over here. So it's right here, it's SimBrief panel. What you do is you go to your settings and you put in your username for SimBrief. And once that happens, uh, any last flight plan that you have, will um, you can fetch it from here. If you click on fetch, that flight plan will show up and it just shows up the uh, particular important points of your flight plan. Uh, most of the uh, items that you will need to do to enter in the FMS. You can have your raw flight plan over here. So that is all that's very that's available here. So it's just your complete flight plan. And I find this particular part so useful having it available right on your toolbar over here. Let's go back to the summary and let's go back to, uh, let's do the FMS uh, flight plan over here. So one of the things that I really like is the fact that, uh, if you, especially if you have a single uh, monitor, but even with a two, two uh, monitor setup or a three monitor setup, I just find it very useful that it stays available here on your, on your monitor and you don't have to come up and switch monitors or switch screens to be able to, to get into your flight plan. Uh, so if we go to the FMS, all this information will be available here. So let's start with the position initialization and we are flying from LEMG. Set that up. We're going to our route. If you have a company route, you can put it in there. But if you downloaded your flight plan on uh, SimBrief Downloader, it will uh, allow you to pull it up and then load it uh, automatically. But we are just basically going to enter the data as it is here. So uh, we're going to be doing runway 13 right over here if we go back oh, and go back on our routing it's going to be runway 13 so, sorry about that right there and our destination is going to be l i l e i b all right so so if we go our departure and arrival page so we're just gonna put a runway 13 and we are on the rollers 1h next page was 1h and let's go to route and then um, the next waypoint is gonna be Russex and that will be through the uh, UN 851 
then that's it the next thing is our arrivals and we are arriving at runway ILS 24X through the Cross X 3N right over here and that is it that is fantastic and then we just go to our legs page we need to activate our plan so we execute that and plan is activated all within the context of your FMC and having this window available to you with all the flight plan information uh, even here if you go to our uh, preference initialization page certainly you can request your um, init information but you can put that in here I do have a I have to translate it I have to set up my plane as a units or in kilograms rather than uh, pounds so I'm in this particular case I'm just going to request my information I forgot that I had um, done my flight plan in kilograms so um, I have to change that the next time but certainly you can request this from within the FMC and load that information and execute it then you can put in your cruise winds so your average cruise wind is at 016 at 31 um, our transition altitude is going to be uh, 6,000. So all this or this page is it's good to go. Available here next to your FMC. So useful. So from here you can have all the other information available here from your flight plan to input rather than like I said rather than moving back and forth between windows excellent excellent free add-on uh, one of the most useful add-ons uh, I've seen so far that is free so check it out use it installation is fairly simple it's gonna be always available on your um, menu over here great stick with me I'm gonna do this flight into Ibiza if you wanna check out uh, my landing and if you want to stay tuned for that I'm going to um, give you some information on how to win a Microsoft flight uh, a Microsoft um, gift card so stay tuned and watch all the way thank you very much Yeah. 